A sign of progress or a step in the wrong direction? Murals in one fast changing Indianapolis neighborhood have been painted over and now the artists and neighbors want to know why. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker is working for you and getting answers to those questions. Ask anyone in Fountain Square and they'll tell you there are murals, lots and lots of murals. It's one of the things that makes Fountain Square, well, Fountain Square. But over the last couple of days, some of the most well-known murals have been painted over. Graffiti Alley, which is just east of Virginia Avenue, went from looking like this to this. This door right here is where I had my mural. Which Mike Mears is one of the artists frustrated yes, by this decision to paint over all the murals, and not only for himself. And I think really just the community of people that live in the neighborhood, as well as you know people that like to come out here, go to restaurants, bars, uh, you know, they've always really enjoyed this as a, as a spot to kind of go and see some great artwork. This group of people immediately noticed the missing murals. Some of them seeing what had happened for the first time, others checking it out again, finding it hard to believe this happened. I was totally surprised. I mean, this is the cultural center of Indianapolis. Clay Doherty lives in Fountain Square, and as opposed to these blank walls, some of it that's already been graffitied. I would rather have beautiful artwork lining our city, lining our beautiful city, to be able to drive more people here, drive more uh, culture here. Not much else that you're gonna have in an alleyway in the backside of a building. It's not meant to attract people into a storefront. I think it's a great thing to do with, you know, with building space and you know empty walls that you've got. The owners of this building, Curing and Sons Holding, released a statement saying this was essentially a miscommunication. They did not intend for the artwork to be painted over, and they're welcoming all the artists who had work behind me to come back and repaint, and they're also welcoming new artists to do so as well because they would like to see Graffiti Alley back to how it was. In Fountain Square, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV.